and there towards the southern side of the eastern hill, you see the single wooden cross embedded in the somewhat hard, cold earth. And there, not yet removed from the cross, whether it be by luck or superstition, there is the white snow dappled, multicolored coat of Molly Mock Tea Leaf. Get down on my knees. I think he's still here with us. Staring at the coat, I'll summon the new sword. In the way that I was taught by Vandra, and I will extend the sword to my side. Bring it up in a salute. Swing it back down. Say, I've I've met a lot of people, but I don't think I'll ever meet another character as unique as you, Molly. And all of you hear this echoing scream from the depths of Yasha's soul, this mournful, baleful cry of anger and anguish just shatter the still cold air of this midday sky. <laughs> the blackened skeletal wings of her fallen SMR form force both of your hands to recoil. And she looks up at the sky. Knowing how young Nott is, I hold her closer and rest her head on my shoulder and walk away from this very painful thing to look at. I'm gonna walk up, move a little bit of the snow, and dig my hand as deep into the ground as I can. And attempt to do the full casting of uh, Wicked Pose and see what I get. What did you just do? Well, I made the earth remember him. Something will be here. Get back on the cart and leave him. You can see the Crisp Vale Thicket on the horizon, far off that direction, and ahead you can see a few rolling hills, and you stand on the road that continues up. And much like Jester described it, a little ways off the road, to the northeast of where you're standing, you can see the off-kilter stick where it was left. Just reach out and grab Yasha's hand. Just squeeze it back. Just as a side note, I'm going to say that gen genuine, uh, generally, uh, we don't recommend doing this in my profession. Uh, so, just letting everyone know. <clears throat> Thank you. We'll take the utmost care. And who knows, he might not be there anymore. Who knows? Do you want me to just run over and see if it's... No, I'll, I'll walk over with you. That's all. I think we all will. Yeah. It's not split up. I'm gonna very gently, not probing with any sort of sharp objects or anything, but mm. mostly hands, just kind of dig down, and I rolled a 28 for... 28, an... okay. <laughs> After two minutes of kind of sifting through, the ground layers become a little bit looser than you were expecting to find. I'll keep going down. You keep digging and kind of pulling aside and the rain and mud is starting to kind of pour in a bit and it's a bit of a, a tough fight going against the weather, but you get about two, two and a half feet down and there's still not much of a sign. I drop down too, say I'm going to hell anyway, and then start to pull at the mud with you. 
fervently. You both begin to pull and pull and pull away. Dirt and mud is now slapping up onto the sides as this, what was once just straight land, turns into a pit. And still no sign of Molly Mock tea leaf. Jester, can you locate object? Wait, maybe maybe we, we dug down in the wrong spot. I mean, I can scry on it. Isn't there like a locate object spell yeah, or something? Yeah, but I don't, or, or, I don't. Or his skull. Or his swords or, or his yeah, blood anything. Or anything. Yeah, we have his blood. Yeah. I don't, I don't have locate object prepared. Okay. I can't do it now, but I, I could try to scry on him with a higher level. See if I could find I'm gonna, just in case, yeah. investigate around to see if there's any, it's pretty, I mean, the, the mud is not recently covered, right? It is very muddy. You do find a dirt-stained coat. Is it his coat? You find Molly Mock's no. coat. Where was it? Was it like? It was about 20 or so feet off. It may have been blown off of sure. the sure. grave site by the wind and then just left to the elements. You fucking take that shit. Yeah, of you course, grab that course. fucking coat. Um, but you don't find any implements or no. tools or anything. Metal. Okay. I'm gonna scry. And I'm gonna say, Artsy, I need your help again. In the cold, kind of soaked through, you sit there hearing the heavy rain splashing around you in the mud, and as you concentrate and put out your prayer to the traveler, you can feel kind of the, the rain begin to subside. Uh, and anyone's keeping a Keen eye, which would probably be you just on the side, you can see that Jester, for a brief moment, there's almost like a, a shimmering, invisible cloak around her for a moment. The, the rain seems to be splashing about an inch off of her. Mm -hmm. um, as you close your eyes, you feel your consciousness pulled out of you, and a voice goes in your ear Intriguing. You see clouds and weather, darkened storms, and as you're pulled through the heavy, thick, Blizzarding snow. Yeah. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it. fucking knew it! They're together. You see, trudging through a familiar blizzard, a right. purple skinned tiefling <gasps> in heavy coat and hood, walking with a grin and an intensity of confidence and purpose. Oh, no, 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 no. oh my god. And that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. <laughs> I can. I, I can and I did. <laughs> that was the ending. You are kidding me. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so, we'll pick up on there next week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so fucking metal. I love it. Did you already know? I, I, no, I'm not going to talk. No. I'm not yeah, saying shit. Did. I'm not saying shit. No. So wait. So wait. <sighs> no. Wait, describing, scrying. You just cry. <laughs> <laughs>